A series of events to mark the 100 years since the death of the World War I poet Wilfred Owen have been launched in Birkenhead today by actress Dame Patricia Routledge. Owen grew up in the town and his contribution will be marked across the year, as Stuart Pollock reports. Move him into the sun. Gently its touch awoke him once. A famous daughter of Birkenhead reading the poem Futility, written by the town's favourite son, Wilfred Owen. The greatest uh, poet of the First World War. We do claim him and are very proud of him. One of Dame Patricia's uncles, like the poet, fell in World War I. Although my uncles didn't talk specifically about the war, and their experiences. But whenever we made music round the piano, they would sing the songs of the First World War. People are being urged to bring in their own family stories and a new war memorial will be erected. Wilfred Owen spent many of his early years in this town. This house here was one of the places where he lived. He died just a week before the end of World War I in November 1918. But his life and his work has continued to be celebrated in this area. There he is. Today a new bust was unveiled at the town's Wilfred Owen Museum. It's one of those places, Birkenhead, that they have, they've got this special piece of Wilfred, this, this you know, it's tangible, you know, that he was here. And it's, and, it, and it's such an, an incredible thing and such a thing to be celebrated. Yeah, uh, and 125 years to the week that Wilfred Owen was born, those celebrations are already underway. Stuart Pollitt, BBC Northwest Tonight, Birkenhead.